Welcome to Helicon Soft video tutorials. This time, we will talk about advanced functionality of Helicon Focus, forming queues of stacks and automated stack splitting. We will start with the basic workflow of batch processing. And in the second part of this video, I will show you how you can get the most out of the batch process and split stack mode that allows to auto split images into stacks and to apply rendering parameters to all the stacks at once. Let's start by opening the batch process dialog. Go to main menu, file, batch process. The main idea of this mode is to enable batch processing when you can add a number of stacks to the queue, start rendering, and have all the results automatically saved to the disk. There are several ways to add a stack to the queue, to add images, or to add one or multiple folders. Depending on what you need, press the relevant button and choose images or folders to be added. Once the stacks are added to the queue, you can see the number of files in each of them and set the rendering methods and parameters. In the Autosave Results panel in the bottom part of the dialog window, you can set the output format and choose the target folder. All the adjustments having been made, press the Render button and wait a bit to see the results. Now let's take a step forward. I want to show you a feature of Helicon Focus that I personally find extremely helpful. Just as an example, this weekend I went experimenting with focus stacking and shot over 400 images. All of them are in one folder, and now in order for me to be able to process stacks, I need to divide these hundreds of images into something like 85 stacks. What makes this sorting even more complicated is that sometimes I shot several stacks of the same flower so it will be difficult to quickly, visually, differentiate between them. The number of files in each stack is different, so I understand that it will take time and effort. Now let's go back to our batch process dialog and have a look at a smart solution. I add the whole folder with all of the images I've got, and I press the little gear icon to call the menu and choose the split stack option. Here, you can choose among four splitting principles. The first one is the number of images in each stack. It's good for those cases when you have stacks with the same number of shots in each. The second principle is splitting by shooting time. This one splits the stacks by the minimum time interval between them. When I shoot, the pause between the stacks is normally no less than 3 to 4 seconds. The third option is splitting by exposure. This one will be indispensable if you've been using exposure bracketing when shooting when using Helicon Remote Software for combined focus and exposure bracketing. The fourth splitting principle should be chosen. For instance, if you want to merge the first image with the 11th one, the second with the 12th one, and so on. In the bottom line of the split stacks window, you will see the resulting number of stacks. It will be updated each time you change the splitting parameters. Now that I've made a choice, I can press the split button and all of the split stacks will be added to the list. These stacks are not actually formed on the disk. No actual folders or subfolders appear in the source folder. This splitting is just a virtual classifying process only for the purposes of focus stacking in Helicon Focus. Another useful feature we have here in the short menu is applying stacking parameters to all the stacks. For instance, in cases like mine, when I have a lot of stacks on the list and want to choose the same rendering method for all of them, I want to use C method this time. All I need to do is set the parameters to one of the stacks, press the gear icon, and apply this parameter to the rest of the stacks in the list. Once you press the render button, the batch process window will disappear and you will see all of the stacking results in the output window in the right hand bottom corner and they will be automatically saved to the target folder. Try it and I'm sure you'll find this batch process feature useful.